Hello friends, it's Adrian from the Paperback Homestead and here are my pepper seedlings enjoying some sunshine for a bit on this very warm spring day. My overwintered peppers in these pots did not survive, but I'm excited to try again this year. Me and my little garden helper are hooking up the hoses for my garden. This is how I get water out to my garden. And up until this point, I have been hauling buckets out to water my seedlings in my cattle panel greenhouse. It's going to be so nice to have this hose back out there. It's really hard not to densely plant lettuce seeds because they are so small. Fortunately, it's a really robust plant. You would think that lettuce is fragile, but it's actually pretty hardy. I like to let my lettuce grow until it's a good size for transplanting. So instead of thinning out the very small seedlings, I transplant them into other areas where I'd like to have lettuce growing. I did sow lettuce in all of the pockets of this green stalk, but they didn't all germinate. And that's typical for lettuce seeds that are a little bit older. The germination rate drops pretty significantly. I'm just transplanting some of these plants into the empty pockets.
we have an incubator full of eggs right now, so it's time to move the flock back out into the mobile coop that we call the chicken camper. We moved them into the brooder for the winter because it's a warm, dry building and it's much easier for me to control their environment in that space. I don't always give them supplemental heat in the winter, but if the temperatures drop below freezing for more than a day, I do turn on a heat, heat lamp in overnight, just overnight, just to take the edge off. This first paddock that I'm moving the chickens to is one of two sacrifice yards, which just means it's an area where I can leave them for a week or two and it doesn't matter that they moonscape it and completely decimate any vegetation. We had a tree taken down here and as you can see the logs are still laying out here. There wasn't any grass here, just moss because it's so shady and our water table is so high here. Moss is beautiful and very low maintenance, but it has a very shallow root system, so it's not great for soil structure or maintaining any sort of soil structure. And it's really easy for the chickens to scratch up. And it doesn't reseed itself once it gets pulled up it's just gone so we have a lot of dead patches in the yard where there used to be moss that the chickens have dug up so we're in the process of figuring out how to reseed these dead spaces in the yard more on that to come This is one of the chicken's favorite paddocks because of all of these logs. They love climbing on the logs and roosting on the logs. And sometimes I'll go in there and turn over the logs to expose the bugs that are living underneath. Eventually we will split all of this wood and stack it. But for now the chickens can have it. I'll leave them here until the grass really gets growing. It's still very early in the season and although the grass is turning green it's not really growing much right now. So if I were to put the chickens out into the yard they would dig up the grass before it gets a chance to get going. We used to free range our chickens and I loved seeing them out free ranging in the yard, but they spent a lot of time on the sidewalks and on our patio 
and they just poop everywhere. They ate the cat's food, they scratched up all of my mulch. They can be very destructive. Using this netting allows them to free range and I can control where they go. Once the grass gets growing, I'll be moving them every two to three days throughout the spring and summer. Moving chickens is so much easier to do at night. Once they roost, they become extremely docile. I know you can't see much here, but I am one by one moving the chickens from the roost in the brooder into the chicken camper. I'll roll this chicken camper out to the paddock, and tomorrow morning they're going to wake up as a mobile flock again.
Spring is officially here, friends. I hope you're enjoying yours.